Hello everyone, today I will be demoing for you Angle Animation for Arcs, Chords and Pies, available in Simplicity 10.0, Sim 3 and later. For this demo we will be focusing on the Pi object, but all of the same principles apply to Arcs and Chords as well. For this demo we will be revisiting our part production project and con enhancing one of the uh, library objects representing a machine uh, and changing out its part count which today is just a text value with an animated value on a donut chart using angle animation. To do that we'll switch over to sim edit and uh, make that change. So for this screen, this same library object is being used. So when we use library objects in Simplicity, we can make a change in uh, a common object. And then in a screen, we can reuse that object. In, in this case, we've used it three times. So when I change this part count visualization here, it'll reflect in all three instances over here in the runtime screen, as we'll see. So to do that, we're going to build a little donut chart. And to get us started, I've already created kind of a f base level donut chart, which is essentially just two concentric circles. And onto that, I'm going to add a pie object. And, and line it up with this donut chart and have it animate the value of part count. So to do that, a quick way to do that is to just uh, change the geometry and change my end angle to 90 so that I have an actual circle. And uh, then I will line that up with uh, the outer circle. And align the center and align the middle, so now it's right on top. Now if I go back in and, and change that angle again, I can see how my donut chart will start to look. I'll change this back to zero. And I'll move it backward just once. Backward. So now you can see it's in between the middle circle and the outer circle. So as this angle on this pie rotates, it will look like it's filling up this donut. So now I'll introduce you to angle animation. So in the Angle and Animation tab, which shows up for arcs, chords, and pies, you'll see a couple of things. First, you can specify a start angle, and you can make that an expression, or you can just leave it fixed at its current start angle. Then you would, you'll configure an expression to describe how the sweep of that angle will go, you know, whether that will be um, based on an expression or a constant and which direction it will go and how it will sweep through that uh, direction. So to demonstrate that, we're going to use uh, the dollar sign object dot part count value, which is the value that's currently just numeric in the screen. And we're going to have it sweep from 0 to 60, which is uh, just the value of my part count, max value of my part count, count in one of my machines on this system. And I want it to sweep from 0 to 360 degrees. So it'll start at 90 and go all the way around the circle. If I wanted it to go just part way around the circle, then I would have it go 0 to, uh, say, 180 degrees, in which case it would only fill up half of that donut when it hits 60. So that's how this works here. I'll demonstrate that a little bit more later. So uh, It's complaining because my dollar sign object isn't uh, uh, visible to me right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that's OK. And the reason that's happening is I'm going to make this a group. And I'm going to include it. I'm going to cut it out of here and put it inside of this library object. And uh, then it will have the value of the dollar sign object in the library object. So if I paste that back in and I take my part count, and make it a little smaller, include it, 
we're gonna say kind of bring that to the front um, and we'll break this guy apart again and make this now part of that and we'll now group all of that together bring that over into my library object so now it'll be visualized uh, for every one of these other library objects so I'll demonstrate that so I'll save that close this screen and reopen it with this new newly updated value so you can see that I've got uh, now for every one of my machines it's been updated by to use this new visualization and in machine 2 which it goes from 0 to 60 for its part count you can see that it's the angle is sweeping through that value or that arc sweep as the value increments up until it hits 60 at 360 degrees so that's essentially angle animation for pi objects and by extension arcs and chords um, use the same concepts and uh, will sweep through their, their angles in a similar way for their particular shape type. Thanks for watching.